Hello guys and welcome back to another video on my channel. The Steam community market and Steam or CSGO items have been around for a long time. But with the rise of CSGO skins, the market really exploded and people were really serious about making money with it. Some of these methods took a lot of work and patience. For example, people were sniping off the market for cheap sales and selling them more expensive later, or they were looking for rare items or good floats already. But it didn't take long until people started automating these processes. People also started investing in items. So they were buying a lot of small items, maybe several thousand of capsules or cases for example, to hope that the price will rise and they will make a profit out of it. Luckily today we have several plugins that can help you buy and sell these items more comfortable and more quickly. They can also really make your life easier if you are trading a lot or using the Steam market a lot. That's what we want to look at today. The best plugins for CSGO and Steam trading. Before we continue, I would really appreciate it if you could subscribe to my channel and ring the bell. It helps me out a lot and gives you a notification when more of my content is coming out. Thanks! We are going to look at two big plugins and one for special occasions. The main features of these two big plugins, which I want to explain first, are quite similar. That's why I will name them here first. They both support mass buying and mass selling, sorting of inventories and market listings. They show detailed item information, for example the float or pattern on some items. They show trade logs when an item is trade logged in somebody's inventory. And they provide pricing info for different providers. They also allow you to add or remove multiple items at once if you're sending a trade offer. For example, if you want to offer 1000 cases for a knife, it can be really a hassle to click on every of these cases at once. I'm looking at your Steam, please introduce this to the storage units. I have 850 cases and I have to click on every one by itself. Is that help? Now back to the video. There are also some specific features or pros and cons that we want to look at now. The first plugin we want to look at is CSGO Trader by Gary. Gary is one of the biggest CSGO traders and he's a developer, so it's really not a surprise thing that he made a plugin like this. All of these plugins I'm going to cover in the video are totally free. The pros compared to other plugins like this is Gary's plugin offers Buff as a pricing provider. It also features various sorting options for inventory and markets. You can inspect items directly in your browser. You can make bookmarks for items and it will make a notification when the trade log on the item has inspired. It features auto bumping on trades, for example on CSGO traders. You can instant accept or decline offers on your trade offer page. What I like really a lot is that it can create an item list for posting. So you can render out all the items and all the prices of your items in one list and you can use it uh, later for posting on Steam forums, for example. What I really like also is that it shows fade percentage on and some patterns directly. For example, if a uh, current marble fade is uh, fire and ice, if you click on it, you will directly see it. And on the most popular fades, it also shows the fade percentage directly. I also have some cons on this. Prices are only updated every 24 hours automatically. And you can manually refresh it, but the problem is that the prices are the price provider is Price Empire, and they take the prices from Buff. And Price Empire is also not updating their uh, prices that often, so there's always some hours and the price you see on in the plugin. So you should always double check it. I think there's some improvement potential here, both by CSGO Trader and by Price Empire. If you want to mass sell a lot of items, it takes a long time to load these prices compared to the other plugin I'm going to mention after. And it's not really suitable for other games in CSGO. I mean, it's called CSGO Trader, so I think that's not really a surprise. But all the features are focused on CSGO. You can mass sell, for example, Steam trading cards, but it doesn't work that good as CSGO items. The second plugin we want to talk about is Steam Inventory Helper. It's by far the most famous Steam plugin and it features some really cool features. The pros here are that it has a really fast and good mass selling and it also supports multiple games and Steam items. So if you're also selling, let's for example, TF2 items, Rust items, unturned items or something, you don't really have to worry that the prices are not loaded or something. 
What I also like really much, the Steam Inventory Helper shows you prices, price history and other information for games when you are on their store site. There's not really that much a trading feature, but I think it's a really cool feature to just click on a game and see what the historical minimum of the price was, where you can buy it for the cheapest. I think that's really cool. The cons for these plugins are that it only features some really unreliable price sources of items, especially when you're trading with items that are worth more than the Steam market cap, so worth more than 1,800 US dollars on the Steam market. And if you're a high tier trader, you basically can't really do anything because my gun here or something, they don't really have a price for that. And the Dragon Law is also listed at 1,800 US dollars, which is bad, but it, I think it also can be a little bit dangerous because if you don't know that much about the prices and you get dropped an item like this and, you, and your plugin says it's worth 1,800 US dollars, you can potentially use, lose some money. I really think there is some improvement potential here. So if an item is over market price, like a Dragon Law, it shouldn't really show the price or just say over market. By default, I don't really know why they do this, but by default, the item price loading time is very slow. So if you're getting a trade offer and click on get prices, it waits for one second between each items to check the price, which can really a hassle if you're getting an offer with like 50 different items. So it takes a lot of time to check the prices. It can be manually improved, but I really don't understand why it, it is that high by default. Yeah, the third plugin we're going to look at is a little bit of a smaller plugin. It is CSGO Float. CSGO Float is a marketplace, but they also have a really cool plugin. It is one of the best plugins to just check the floats and the rare patterns on the market and in inventories. And it's really simple and easy to use. But through that, it doesn't really have that many other features. It doesn't show any prices. It doesn't do any mass listing or something. It's just a really cool addition if you're just looking for good deals or good floats on the Steam market. So which one should you use? It really depends. If you are mainly trading CSGO items, I can really, really recommend using Gary's CSGO Trader. Uh, if you're just a casual skin guy and you also play other games and you also want to look at the price history of Steam games, for example, I can really recommend the Steam Inventory Helper. I think that's the best way to go here. I personally use CSGO Trader. I mean, I'm a CSGO Trader and I trade with a lot of high tier items. I think that's not really that much of a surprise just because having buff prices listed that fast and all the other features are so good. The choice here wasn't really that hard. Yeah, I think that wraps up pretty good. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to like and subscribe. I am Neon, I see you guys in the next one.